Today we're talking about a glove system I borrowed from ice climbing, which we often use to keep our kids' hands warm during our winter adventures. Hello again, I'm Jason. Battling winter cold with kids can be challenging. Keeping them warm is a necessary precursor to keeping the outing fun, so sometimes my kids use a four glove system. Today I'll share what this system is and when we find it appropriate to use. The concept of a four glove system is something I took with me from something I really enjoy, ice climbing. You'll often hear ice climbers talk about bringing multiple gloves to a climb. Ask 10 ice climbers how many and what gloves they bring, and you'll get 10 answers. But for each of them, every glove plays a role, and we can borrow some of that logic and apply it to the kiddo. The first glove is a liner glove. This is there to wick away moisture if your hand gets moist, either from sweat, snow, or ice. It's also there to keep you from flash freezing your hand should you need to manipulate anything temperature conductive, like metal. For our kids, this serves the same purpose. Think of activities that demand delicate or finer motor skills or demand you grab cold metal like getting equipment out or adjusted. The second glove is thicker than the liner glove, but still dexterous. This is often the primary climbing glove. The thicker the insulation, the more you have to grip down to push through that insulation and maintain a strong grip on your tool. That actually restricts blood flow, making your hands get colder. For the kids, we have a moderately insulated glove that is helpful if we're gonna be doing a lot of work with our hands that maybe isn't needing quite such fine motor skills. Climbing or setting up camp are good examples. The third glove is a thicker insulated glove that must be waterproof. For ice climbers, this is often for one of two purposes, either for climbing on a particularly cold day or very often as a dedicated belay glove because the ropes get so wet. By analogy, for the kids, we can think about a dedicated glove for snow play, which may saturate almost any glove. We want the other gloves in the system dry and available when we really need them. And the fourth glove is not a glove at all, but rather a mitten. Of course, this is really low on dexterity, but high on warmth. Ice climbers use these mostly while resting or after the climbing. It is simply too hard to manipulate tools and screws with mittens. <laughs> Mittens serve very much the same purpose for our kids. They are there for when we aren't moving much and therefore not generating heat. For the times after cross-country skiing or snowshoeing, and we're back at camp. So do we always use this four glove system? No, it has to be cold enough to demand it. It also has to be a longer outing with enough time to incorporate variable activities. There needs to be enough demands for varying levels of dexterity and varying levels of heat generating movement. Cold weather camping over multiple days or with a snowshoe hike or climb in the middle are examples of when this system might make sense. As an example of when four gloves definitely don't make sense for us, I could point to a day trip for snowshoeing where we'll be constantly moving and therefore generating body heat. It wouldn't be unusual for us to bring just one warmer and one less warm option. But whatever the trip type or duration, we never bring less than two sets per kid. Kids aren't always the most disciplined when it comes to managing their gear, so it's important to have a backup option in case one set gets filled with snow, lost, or whatever. Thanks for watching this video. Please hit that like button, please subscribe and ring that bell. And you can check out our website at shortguysbetaworks.com to find gear lists, all of our videos, and additional thoughts and information. Do you have kids? What is their favorite wintertime activity? Let us know in the comments. We'll see you next week and keep on getting more out of that big outside.